cancer, 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 cancer. The drudges of your deep sea are just being like, whooshed onto your shores. Ooh, 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 ooh. It is an intense time. It is very intense. And there is a reason why the specific things from your deep sea are coming forward. There's a very specific reason for this. Um, intro. You're okay. Intro. You're okay. Intro. Guess what? You are loved. <laughs> okay, full moon in Pisces. It's a doozle bobble. Um, before we get into the juice of it, uh, New York, I'm doing my first in-person workshop. Thursday, September 30th, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Zodiacal flow. One part, learning about the astrological journey. Second part, we imbue it into our bodies with some yoga. It's gonna be so fun. If you're in the New York area, and you can attend, like, let's do this. Uh, Alchemical Studios, registration on my website, at the shop, under workshops, be ba bop uh, If you're not in New York, and you want me to come to you to do the workshop, let's talk about it. Ah! <laughs> um, okay, the energies of this moment are very intense. The full moon, is right next to Neptune in Pisces, in the Pisces. What is Neptune? Neptune is dreams, harmony, love, sensitivity, childhood attachments, delusion, religion suppression, um, consumption of entertainment, music. The sun is in Virgo. Virgo says, I love the details. I love the ritual, I love the autonomy, I love the day-to-day -day lists. I love my body. I love uh, my health. I love my, my physical sense of my day-to-day -day life. I love doing things. I love gifting service. I love being of value. I love being important. Right now, what was started in Aries is now at the final stages of getting ritualized in Virgo. We are about to, Libra season, go into having other people come on board with this project. And then we're gonna make our way back to the Pisces full expression of it. So we are feeling, Moon, feeling the end of the adventure halfway through. We are feeling the big harmonious completion moment of what was energetically started inside of us. This is why this feels so overwhelming at the moment. Because here we are, sun saying, focus on ritual, focus on day to day, focus on the now, focus here. We, we have this full moon moment of like, but wait, all of the other things. Oh, 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 oh. It's Coritus. choir. It's like the tabernacle choir singing. So what we're going to do today with the tarot is, um, what is, what is the reflective moment that we need to know to, to become aware of, to get past the drama? What is it that we need to just exult, that we need to get clarity on so that we can move forward back to our day-to-day -day ritual? What is it that we need to feel so that we can execute? The Neptune moment right next to the moon is gonna provide cloudiness. It's gonna provide a huge um, sense of weight to it, and it's not gonna be delivered in a clear way. That's why we need some meditation time. So, we're gonna talk about what the access point to that meditation is. Answer. The magic, the magic, the magic, the magic, the magic, the magic that you get to create right now. That you get to create right now with all of this shit being thrown up 
onto your shores. There's a tsunami of magic that's coming at you. There's a tsunami of, of balanced elemental support coming at you. Mama, you are grown. You are big now. You are known. You have done things. And you know exactly how to navigate this Pisces storm. You know exactly how to navigate this deep sea rage because you have your process. It's learnt. If you do not have your process, then first thought, best thought, the question is, what puts you in a magical space? Do that. Do that. Whatever makes you feel magical, start there and flow from there. You get to determine who is there with you. Is your beach empty? Or is your beach full? This is don't let your scatter, don't let your internal scatter stop you from actually creating magic. This is scattered lack of focus. The, ne the Neptune is, is going to be cloudy. It's going to have it's going to have those those clouds of confusion over it. Gentle doubt. Am I doing this right? 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 Just keep doing it. You'll know later. Don't put an expectation on the outcome now. Just put an expectation on the action. Okay. Come on, love. You are so loved. Give yourself grace, give yourself time, give yourself some meditative moments. Listen to your most beautiful music that makes you feel. Listen to something that makes you think. Have conversations that put you in a reflective, introspective place. Choose meditation, choose soul, choose spirit, choose love, choose harmony. If you, when you're watching television, you're ingesting somebody else's story. Neptune really wants you to spend time with it so that you get to discover your story. This is also, Neptune is, is perception time. Saturn is actual minutes. Neptune is perception time. So we're kind of going on a, we're gonna be kind of skewed with with um, time <laughs> right now. We're gonna be in a moment of like, um, have I been doing something for five minutes or five hours? Like, just give give yourself breath, give yourself grace, give yourself love. Allow yourself to 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 zone out. Allow yourself to get lost in something. Allow yourself to to create. It doesn't have to be good. You don't have to share it. Do whatever it is that gets you in a space of speaking with your intuitive soul. I am always here for you. PaulFlanagan.com for appointment booking, the workshops, random videos. <laughs> Bye.